So in a previous video, I asked your opinion to weigh in on what color should I paint my kitchen cabinets. Now, we had gotten some new flooring and these cabinets were just way too dark. I thought maybe white would look good, but you gave me some suggestions for other colors. So in today's video, I'm gonna take these two cabinet doors. These are just extras that I have and we're gonna clean them and then paint them some of these colors you had recommended and other colors that I just had on hand that I thought maybe these might be pretty. So that's what I'm gonna do in today's video. And hopefully by the end, when we hold these cabinets up to the flooring sample, we can get an idea of how well or not well it looks together. So the first thing I did was cleaned it, taped it off so that I have different spaces. And then these are the paints I'm gonna use. I've got some Beyond paint, I've got some mineral fusion paint, I've got regular wall latex paint, and also some powder here to make some, some chalk paint. So we're gonna try all of these things. What you don't see are the, the blues, the dark blues that I'm gonna try as well. You'll see that in a moment. But the first color I'm starting with is Nantucket. This is by Beyond Paint. I have used this color for many projects in my home and I love it. The color is, it's like, it's soft enough, but it's still, I don't know, it feels like it's not too pastel-y, but it's just a gorgeous color. I've used it for many things, and this company, Beyond Paint, they actually want to sponsor this project. So if I use their paint, then, hey, it works out for everybody. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, with using, with using paint on, a light color paint on dark cabinets, if you're not using a primer, you are gonna see all of that spottiness. You see how spotty it looks right now? That's gonna require probably three or four coats. And so if you do have dark cabinets, you have to do a primer. And you'll see in a moment that I actually did use a primer on the other sample board. But this is just one coat and after it dried, I mean, there was no way we could put two coats. We needed four. Now, some of you had mentioned like an off-white would look good too, but you have to be very careful because it does have yellow undertones and you can see how yellowish it looks next to that bright white. I don't think I cared for the off-white too much. So the other cabinet, I took that outdoors and I sprayed that with, with some spray primer. And you know, here's the thing, if you are using a dark color, I would definitely go with a gray primer. This white primer would show through if you're using a dark color. So just a little tip for you. But I wanted to let that dry and then come back, add another coat. You see here that the Nantucket color is already starting to turn a little bit more bluish turquoise. And I think this would be a gorgeous color for maybe the base cabinets. And you see I'm adding a different or a second, a second coat to the bright white. And I think the bright white would go very well. But is it too bright? That's the question. Or do you like the off-white? I mean, the off-white doesn't look too bad when you look at it next to the Nantucket. So the next sample that I was gonna do, I have some wall latex paint that I did as an accent wall in my family room. And I'm using this BB Froche. This is a powder that you can mix with regular wall latex. And then you add just a little bit of tap water, or it doesn't matter if it's tap water, but you add a little bit of water and mix it up. This will give you a chalk paint with regular wall latex paint. It'll stick a little bit better than if you just do a regular wall latex paint. So, but keep in mind, it does make it into a chalk paint. And so you definitely will need either like a, a clear wax or you could do a top coat to it. But again, be careful with top coats because they can turn your paint yellow, especially if you're using a light color. And I know some people say, well, that really only happens if you're using like an oil-based top coat. That's not true. <laughs> I have had yellowing even with water-based top coats. So you gotta be careful. That's a whole other thing we'd have to test. But I think this color looks pretty. It looks almost like an apricot color, maybe kind of peachy. And I think you'll see in a moment when I compare it to the floor tile, I think it actually looks pretty good. Now I'm using Beyond Paint here on the other side to do gray. And this is where you'll see where if I'm using a white primer underneath of a dark paint, that white primer is going to come through. And so on the left part, you see that it's a nice coverage, but on the right side, you start seeing that white coming through. So just a tip, again, if you're using a dark color and you're priming, make sure that you add uh, a gray primer before you do your dark paint. But uh, I don't really know how I feel about the dark gray. Like to me, it doesn't have as much personality. I mean, I think it's got some blue undertones to it, so I think it'll go well with the tile, 
but personally, I'm kind of feeling like the dark gray is not enough personality or not the soft look that I'm going for. So there's another brand of paint that I'm using here. I think it's Mineral Fusions. Maybe it's a different brand. I don't know. But it, some people had actually recommended like a light green sea foam. And I think this color was actually very pretty. And the only problem is that it definitely would need to be primed because it didn't seem like this was going to stick very well. All right, so the other colors that I'm trying here is this deep dark blue, but it's not like a navy. It says navy, but it just has a little bit more, I think, pizzazz to it <laughs> than the next color you'll see in just a moment. I've used this on projects, and I think the color is gorgeous. Now, the, the question is, is do I want a dark blue on that base cabinet? I don't know. I feel like I want the kitchen to be pretty. So anyway, here's the comparison. So this is the light green seafoam color and I'm just holding it up to a sample tile. This matches the tile in my kitchen. I didn't have good lighting in the kitchen so I couldn't hold it up in the kitchen but I think the Nantucket looks pretty good. What do you think? So Nantucket on the bottom, bright white on top or do you like Nantucket on the bottom and maybe an off-white on the top? What do you think about that? Is that too yellow for the floor tile? That's what I'm not sure of, but I'm really feeling that Nantucket. What about you? <laughs> I think it would be fun every day to walk into a kitchen and see the base cabinets with this beautiful color. Now, I'm actually kind of feeling the pink. I think there was only one person in the comments that had suggested pink. People, for the most part, don't like pink, but I love it. And I think, you know, if I were to do the entire kitchen in that color, maybe it would be too much, but maybe the pink on the bottom and maybe white up top. Here is the dark gray. Eh, kind of boring compared to the other colors, right? I don't really know about the dark gray. Mm, sorry, guys, for everybody that said dark gray. I'm, I don't think I'm headed in that direction. I think I want something uh, with a little, that's a little lighter. Now this blue, oh my gosh. This is amazing. Now this dark blue, this navy, eh, I'm not feeling that. That kind of looks like black and some people did say like black or charcoal, but I don't think that's the direction that I'm moving in. I realize that I like homes that just feel a little bit more feminine, a little bit more pretty, and that's why I'm kind of gravitating towards the Nantucket with either the white or the off-white or maybe the pink. Am I crazy for thinking pink? Or maybe even like the mint green. But at this point, I think the Nantucket may win. So leave a comment down below. What do you think of the colors that I did? And which of these do you think would work best for my kitchen floor? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next video.